Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today we're going to finish out Psalm 97 with an examination of verses 10 through 12. This will conclude the Psalm 97. And as I said at the beginning, we've got one speaker. There's one voice who speaks to us about the Lord. He never really, well, he does. He, he speaks to the Lord there in verse 9, doesn't he? For you, Lord, are above the earth. And then today in verse 10, we're going to see that he turns his attention to his readers or his listeners. And he's going to say, ye that love the Lord. So he's he's speaking to the you know, to the to the reader here. So the entire time he's been talking about the Lord. The Lord reigns, a fire goes before him, his lightnings enlighten the world, the hills melt, the heavens declare, all the people see, confounded be all they so he's speaking about all these things. Zion heard and was glad. So all of that has been second person. He's talking about them. Then he turns to the Lord and he says, You Lord so now he's speaking directly to the Lord in verse 9. And then 10, he's going to speak directly to the believer. Which he didn't speak directly to the unbelievers, did he? He just, he just mentioned them, but he's going to speak directly to the believer here. He's going to give us some um, promises too, some hope. There's a little bit of hope here. So we're going to see that today as well. And then, of course, we conclude with that one theme that's been kind of strung throughout this psalm, that is rejoice. Let the earth rejoice. The daughters of Judah rejoiced. And now we're going to see in verse 12, Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. So because of who God is, we have the capability, the capacity, the privilege, the wonder of rejoicing before him. So let me read for us verses 10 through 12. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the soul of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Amen. All right, so here we have uh, verses 10 through 12. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. So now he's, again, he's directed his attention and he's speaking directly to his readers slash listeners Ye that love the Lord. Who is that? Are you out there? Let me see you raise your hand up. Do you love the Lord? Amen. Hate evil. That's what the psalmist wants to tell us. Hate evil. And where, what is evil? Well, look at verse 7. Those that serve graven images, boast themselves of idols. That's evil. So hate that. Serve the Lord with gladness. Turn to Him. You see, if you love the Lord, there's no reason to have this evil in your life whatsoever. Just hate it. Do away with it. It has no place. And of course, hate's one of those covenant words. You're not in covenant with evil, so dispense with it. Don't have it around. Say you're married to a woman or you're married to a man. You're in covenant with that individual, and you've probably promised that you would exclude all others, keeping yourself only for them. That's a covenant statement. And so when you love your husband or your wife, you're hating everybody else. It's not that you hate them, but you, you know, you, you discriminate. You don't have, they're not a part of the covenant. So they're outside of it. You reserve yourself for the one. And that's the same thing he's saying here. You love the Lord, hate evil. It's a part of the covenant that we're in with the Lord. We exclude all that other mess so that we can devote ourselves and keep ourselves for him. You love the Lord, hate evil. And notice the promise that he gives here. He preserves the soul of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. So you love the Lord. Here's what he's going to do for you. He's going to preserve you and he's going to deliver you. And friends, there will be wicked who try to trip you and trap you. God will deliver you from them. Light is sown for the righteous. Here's some more promise. Gladness for the upright in heart. Why? Those that love the Lord. They're going to have this. Light and gladness and then he comes to 12 and concludes with this beautiful statement, 
Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous. Give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Amen. And every person who is a part of this righteous company says amen, because that's what we love to do. We love to remember his holiness. Join me again next time, friends. We're going to look at Psalm 98 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.